Hi, I'm John Lee, editor of the Economy, and here with me I've got Claudio Kaimi, program manager at HP, and uh, Andrea Monacci, marketing director at EMEA, also at HP. Uh, hi guys, thanks a lot for talking to me. Uh, Andrea, maybe we can start with you. What sort of cloud demands are you seeing today in the industry? Yeah, so for sure there's a, a general trend of companies mm. to want to outsource their IT, get the mm. benefits of cloud, of mm. scalability, and yet at the same time have mm. that security and trust that their data is going to be treated mm. appropriately mm. Uh, while doing that. And then they mm. want to scale, of course, and have mm. all the cloud features. Mm. So that scalability thing. So you've recently launched something called Cloud28 Plus. Um, do you want to talk more about that? Yeah, no, thank mm. you for the question. Mm. Though, because uh, the, the demand is mm. for digital transformation mm. of these companies, mm. these end users. And so mm. to do that, you need a community of partners mm. fundamentally. Mm. So somebody who takes care of integration, somebody mm. who takes care of migration of existing systems into the cloud, and then there's somebody who provides infrastructure and communication. So that ecosystem mm. of partners mm. is what Cloud28 Plus facilitates for mm. our end customers. Mm. Uh, and so it is a group of partners that are there to solve your transformation mm. needs. So how many partners have you got in this um, organization, in this community? Uh, so we launched a year and a half ago, and in a year and a half we got more than 400 partners Okay. only in Europe, Middle East and Africa, and now we're expanding to uh, worldwide, mm. to the US, to APJ, to Latin America, mm. so we expect that number to mm. grow. Mm. Okay, and then within these providers as well, there's a lot of data centers. What's sort of the combined total of data centers and what's the role of the data center um, in this project? Yeah, so for sure, uh, having this ecosystem of partners enables us to offer coverage of data centers in every country mm. close to a customer, which is very relevant because Typically, the integrators speak a local language, they can help in transformation, but also the data sits very close to the customer. So today, we have more than 250 data centers in this ecosystem here yeah. in Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Okay, and then this is also important, so having so many data centers spread across Europe, um, and then we're gonna bring um, Claudio as well to the conversation. It's around the innovation and the speeds to, to scale and the, the portability of services, yes, so the ability yes. to serve different markets and transport yes. your applications throughout the markets. Yes. Uh, it, what it, is the demand cool. around there, around cool. portability and innovation? Yes, so, mm. so definitely portability of workload mm. is a core topic. We consider mm. it still innovation. Mm. Uh, we started a couple of years ago mm. with research projects, mm. and now we have the first pilots working mm. together with our partners. Mm. But that's definitely something where Claudio and the innovation gave us a big hand mm. to, to do it in mm. this collaboration that mm. we have. So Claudio, what are you doing around the innovation? part of the project? Uh, yeah, so uh, we have uh, dealing with research uh, innovation since many years uh, and is a relevant part for the HPE and uh, we are running particularly open innovation mm. that is uh, collecting many research centers in industry for the, mm. for the same purpose. Mm. So we are pursuing H2020 uh, uh, European Commission funding project as a funding agency mm. and these days we are also pursuing the discovery project that is promoting uh, collaboration among Europe and North America mm. but, uh, that is uh, United States and, and mm. Canada so they, because those countries has an agreement for uh, scientific and technical research uh, the, our is to help them to collaborate in research activity, we join together research center in industry, so to have your business innovated or by innovation itself. Okay. And how would you compare the collaboration? So how how is it to work between Europe and America? How do you compare the two markets? Well, well I didn't find so many differences. Honestly, is a is a way to find the. the, the the same topics that are relevant. So first you have to consider which business innovation you want to have in the industry. And, and, but um, it's okay, mm. <laughs> no okay. problem currently, yeah, now. Mm. Okay, and then looking at the future, what are you planning for the discovery projects? And then we can go back to the Cloud28. But what's coming next for discovery? Well, the Discovery is creating a platform for uh, having this uh, dialogue in, in the future between uh, Europe and North America. So we consider to be some match innovation that is necessary for Cloud28 and all their partners to keep, keep uh, in, continuing being in the market. That is one relevant part, I guess, for anyone to be stay in the business. Okay. And then in regards to Cloud28, what's, what's next? So for us, uh, definitely, as Hewlett Packard Enterprise and Cloud28+, mm. our customer mm. needs, uh, helping with the digital transformation is mm. core. Mm. 
And what we're definitely focused on is getting the right partners that can fulfill that digital transformation need for a company. That is the focus, and that's what we're going to be working on, is connecting our partners to our customers and, and making sure their transformation happens in the best of ways. Okay, Andre, thanks a lot for talking to me, and Claudio as well, thanks a lot for talking to me. Uh, don't forget you can follow Data Economy on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, and also visit the website on www.data-economy.com.